Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick tour of iPhone OS 4. The first thing I wanted to show is the HTML5 compatibility in the browser. Um, there was already HTML5 compatibility, I believe in 3.0 onward, maybe even 2.0, and um, it worked well, but um, this works even better now, so that's a funny picture to start with. Anyway, um, it's a lot faster, transitions are really, really smooth. Um, so I'm just using the HTML5 uh, the HTML5 showcase that Apple has on their website, which is obviously controlled for iPhone and and uh, com and basically Mac uh, Safari compatibility. So, uh, but it works really really well on the iPhone, and it just shows you like the kind of stuff that can be done without Flash, which is obviously the objective of this showcase here. Keep tapping the wrong one. Um, that's not going to help much. You can't see it kind of hard to select the transitions here because it's it's meant for a desktop test but it works really really well on the iPhone. Um, one thing that's absent that was there in one of the betas was inline video playback um, which now when I go to the YouTube website it doesn't it won't play videos at all I have to go to the app which as we all know is not really very good it sometimes actually I'm going to show you the YouTube app. Okay, Let's go to the YouTube app and um, go to subscriptions and it takes a very long time to load these thumbnails. This thumbnail never loads. Okay, and you go to new videos. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it'll tell you YouTube is not available. Yeah, YouTube not available. It'll usually do that three or four times until it actually works. So that's a really big problem that they need to work on. It might be because of my account, um, because I'm using Gmail for my YouTube, but that's what you have to do now. So it's kind of, I think if you have an old account you're going to be okay with this, but if you have a, a Gmail account you might have a problem, because I have a huge problem with it. It never ever works for me, so that's a big problem. Um, oh, my magic cauliflower already to harvest. Um, another thing, YouTube now plays um, now plays in portrait mode as well. Um, however, when you have the orientation lock enabled, it doesn't play in portrait mode, it plays in landscape mode, and then you can't switch it to portrait mode. So that's kind of counterintuitive, and I wish that if I wish that I could hold it in portrait and then have it automatically play in portrait when the lock is on, because that makes so much more sense, doesn't it? Um, other thing I show you is probably multitasking. Um, double tap, and it shows you your most recently used apps. You load them up; they're very, very quick to load. Um, even apps that you haven't used in a while. Um, your photos. Go to phone. Anything. Um, Third-party apps like Let's Try Twitter. It still has to load up again. Although I noticed that the second time it loads, it's a little bit faster than the first time, uh, for whatever reason. And Dropbox um, has been programmed for 4.0 already, so you can see what save states are like on third-party apps. It's it's instant, just like the uh, just like the default apps. And what from what I've noticed yesterday in my testing of OS 4, it really didn't affect my bat my battery very much at all. So that was pretty good. Um, because I believe the processes are, the processes are not actually running; they're frozen. Um, when you hold down on this, it go it gives you a thing for all icons, not just one, like it did like it did in the first beta. So, this is the GM build, by the way. So, um, pretty much. Then there's folders. Folders are pretty good. Couple of my games there. Lifestyle. Store and utilities. Um, I don't even use the home screen very much anymore because of the task switching. Um, again, not all the third-party apps have been programmed for task switching, which is unfortunate because once they all are, it's going to be pretty damn awesome. Um, when you go into the store, and let's just look at the um, top 25, um, once it freaking loads, um, and you look at all the top three apps, the ones with the plus, I believe, are programmed for OS 4, you see that little plus there? It's just like the iTunes Plus thing when they switch to DRM free. Um, it could also mean higher resolution, um, which is originally what it meant on iTunes Plus, um, but I'm not sure. Really, I'm going to have to do some more testing because um, some of the plus ones that I tried, they actually supported OS 4 um, test switching and everything, but um, another one of the plus ones, Farm Story, it didn't support that, so. Yeah, the jury's still out on that one. Um, it's pretty much the same. Um, I noticed one little thing in, in Safari. When you go like this, it actually puts the cancel button there, as opposed to having the cancel button above it and extending the title bar. 
um, just a tiny little UI thing, and that's pretty much OS 4. Um, when you double tap here and you go like that, um, you get the widget controls and the lock um, orientation lock. Um, this also works with Pandora um, with their 4.0 compatible version. Not sure if it's out yet, and because I don't use it, and um, any other music streaming app that uses the background music API. So. Okay, it's pretty awesome. So that's 4.0.